over in the Tonquin Valley, caribou populations are at risk of local extinction. But here at Jasper National Park in the Caribou Breeding Centre, seven calves have been born with hope they will once again thrive in the wild. Three females and four males, uh, and they're all healthy. Uh, the birth went very, very smoothly. Right now, there are only about 50 wild caribou left in Jasper National Park, with just 11 reproducing females. That wasn't always the case. We also have uh, reports from early explorers talking about uh, a multitude uh, of caribou on the landscape, like, like, like ants uh, walking on the landscapes. But caribou numbers in Alberta have been declining for decades, largely because of loss of habitat. But here in Jasper National Park, the story is a bit different. So in the early 1920s um, in Jasper, uh, we reintroduced elk in the park. And at the same time, to be successful with that, that reintroduction, we did some pretty intensive wolf control, predator control in the park until 1959. When park staff stopped their practice of culling, the wolf population increased, dramatically depleting caribou numbers. The Malene herd disappeared completely. The Brazo herd shrunk to three animals. And experts say the Tonquin herd likely wouldn't ever recover, without help. More than a decade ago, Parks Canada put together a team of experts on caribou, including Indigenous partners. You know, for myself and for my community, I think it was really important that we had a place and and involvement, you know, it's that it's really about that inclusion and being able to look after the land and look after everything that exists in the land. In 2023, Parks Canada built the Caribou Breeding Centre, a $40 million investment and the first of its kind in North America. It has about 35 pens, so it's quite large, over 65 hectares. Um, the Breeding Centre has more than 300 gates and you can see all the gates in red here. And the purpose of all these gates is to make sure we can manage the caribou uh, in different ways. The barn is where staff can work closely with the animals. And this is what they call the squeeze. And then we can squeeze the caribou. Two padded cylinders edge closer together to lift the caribou off their feet, giving easy access for their caretakers to give vaccines or take samples. Each year, new calves will be released back into the wild, and different males will be brought in to breed with the females, who will stay at the facility for most of their life. It's a yearly cycle. So when the full program is established, um, we're hoping that every year we'll be able to release between 13 to 17 yearling females and the same number of males. And then that will go up very quickly until we reach approximately 200 uh, caribou. Bessayon says reaching that goal will take five to ten years, at which point they'll switch focus to repopulating the Brazo and Malene herds. But experts in wildlife conservation hope that Alberta finds an easier way to rebuild caribou numbers. I just don't think we should let our other remaining caribou populations across the country within Alberta get to the point where their only hope is this very intensive measure where you're bringing them into a breeding facility, um, these things are really resource intensive. They're extraordinarily expensive. Though some say that the caribou in the park didn't have a chance of survival without intervention. The center is set to release its first group of healthy calves this spring. Maggie Kirk, CBC News, Jasper National Park.